you can see we have finished suctioning the left side and you can see how much thinner it is than the right. This part is the same as the standard tummy tuck. We just basically dissect up the wall until we get to the navel. In the standard tummy tuck, we've also made an incision around the navel. We leave the navel there, and then we continue up to the rib cage. In this case, because she doesn't have enough laxity above the navel to allow us to excise all this skin, what I'm gonna do when I got to the navel, I'm gonna separate the navel from the abdominal wall, and we will leave it attached to the skin flap. have to make sure that we close that fascia there so she doesn't get a hernia. Okay, we have elevated all the abdominal wall skin and as you can see the navel is still attached to the skin flap. When I pull it down it will be a little lower than it was but um, she won't have that scar around her navel and you can see how floppy her abdominal wall musculature is and now I'm going to inject a lot of local anesthetic into the muscle. She'll be more comfortable when she wakes up and then we're going to pull those muscles together and sew them and give her a flat tummy. And these are the rectus muscles. You can see from having babies, they got pulled apart. There's a gap between them. When I touch it with a cotter, you can see them jump. And you can see what a gap there is between the muscles. And that's a gap we're going to fix. And you can see the abdominal wall has been fixed all the way up from the pubic bone up to the ribs. You can bump bounce a quarter on this, this is so tight. The navel is still attached to the skin. Now we're just gonna pull it down and cut out the excess. Before we close, we put in little catheters called pain pumps, and we put in a drain. And the pain pump is a little catheter about the diameter of a IV tubing. This is the part that stays in. You can see it's like a French drain, it has a hundred little holes along the side. And this on the outside is gonna be hooked up to local anesthetic reservoir. And what we do for the first three days is just infiltrate some local anesthesia into here. And this way the patients do not need narcotics and they're fairly comfortable afterwards.